guys, I'm Songyang Longast. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make Mandu Jeonggol. It's a Korean dumpling hot pot and it is a perfect for nowadays weather. It's a gathering with your family and friends and just eat this food like so good. And who doesn't like dumpling? And who doesn't like hot pot? Oh, come on now. If you don't, you're not invited. Okay. So anyways, uh, first thing, we're going to uh, cut up all the vegetables to arrange our hot pot because, uh, you know, the Korean food is all about the presentation. So you will need about two cups of Napa cabbage. I'm using this tiny inside part of Napa cabbage. And it's not like you have to use this part of the Napa cabbage because um, this is just like my life. You know what I mean? Like, after I, we've been using Napa cabbage here and there, just le leftover, okay? So, <laughs> it's not a rule to use this yellow part of Napa cabbage. You can use regular cabbage too, that's totally fine. And one zucchini or this is squash, um, depending on what you can find at the grocery store. So I like this, this uh, squash, it's a Mexican or um, we, I mean, in Korea, we have exactly the same one too. That's why I decided to use it. But you can definitely use a regular green zucchini. That works totally fine. Okay, I'm just going to cut into half moon shape, half moon slice. And three, again, the Mexican green onions. <laughs> so you might be thinking I went to Mexican grocery store before this filming for these ingredients. No, they are actually really nice size for the hot pot. So that's why I decided to use it. But if you cannot find this in Mexican green onions, you will need just one bundle of regular size of green onion. That's totally fine. So what you need to do is just cut them in half in lengthwise and then cut into two inch long pieces. Just like that. Actually, uh, the leek will be beautiful in the hot pot. I've been crazy about leeks like last year around this time, after, right after I came back from Japan. But and you will need this enoki mushrooms. So a lot of these vegetables are actually um, very easy to substitute to whatever you have in your fridge. Honestly, this dumpling hot pot or mandu jeonggol can be your refrigerator clean dish that you just need. Uh, um, some mandu or dumplings that you have either homemade one that you freeze or the store-bought one that I'm, I'm about to use I'm gonna show you what brand is my favorite for this recipe um, but yeah all the vegetables just use whatever you have the carrots that you have with zucchini bell peppers um, there's green cabbage kales anything you, you have in your fridge just go ahead and use it so I'm going to use one bundle of this enoki mushrooms I love enoki mushrooms texture it's almost like a little chewy noodles which is like you know how much I love noodles so I'm just going to separate them one by one like this tofu time so I prepare the soft tofu because the soft tofu the texture is perfect in the soup or the hot pot like this they are not too harsh they are nice and silky texture but they are hard enough to hold it themselves so soft to medium soft to will the the type of tofu the texture of tofu I recommend for you to use for this recipe and when you get a block of tofu um, slice into let's let's just see like, let me look <laughs> let me look at you where how do I want to cut you you know what I mean like you know what I'm gonna cut it the long uh, rectangle uh, way so like this so you will need a whole one block of tube just cut it into just long slices so yeah pretty much all the vegetables are done prepping and rest of it i'm gonna explain why i'm arranged the pot okay so bring a little small pot pot no no not not pot a uh, small mixing bowl <laughs> we are going to make the sauce so i honestly don't know why i brought this first because we need to chop garlic first so we will need to chop five to seven cloves of garlic depending on the size of the cl uh, garlic cloves i'm gonna do six right in between okay, now for real this time bring the mixing bowl we are gonna add the garlic three to five tablespoon of gochugaru korean red pepper flakes so um if you don't want this hapa to be spicy omit this totally just do not add but i like you know I don't know how many times I said on YouTube, on my videos, I love spicy food. <laughs> so I'm gonna add, 
Let's just see. I think about four tablespoon will actually do the job for me. And then two tablespoons of fish sauce. Nice flavor into our hot pot. This is my favorite fish sauce, the three crab brand from Vietnam. Even though I'm Korean, I love you Vietnamese. Vietnamese. <laughs> so like, like my English is so not proper. So anyways, I love Vietnam. Mwah. Then Korean soup soy sauce, two tablespoons of it. So Korean soup soy sauce is actually more lighter in color but a lot saltier than regular Korean soy sauce. So we use this a lot in our soup dishes, obviously that's why we call it soup soy sauce, get it? <laughs> but yeah, uh, you can get this from your local Asian stores, Korean stores obviously. And um, I will put the link down below where you can purchase online as well, so check that out. And one tablespoon of meshire, the Korean plum extract. So this is, this has been last like, I don't know how many years in Korea. If you are a really good cook, you use this. If you don't use this, you're not considered as a good cook in Korea. I'm, I'm that serious. I'm not just making this story up. I'm serious. So uh, this one is actually really good quality. I got this about $20. Yes, it is this big bottle, but it will last really, really long, but because you don't use a lot of them, but um, yeah, it's a little expensive because this one is a real deal. It's a really preserved, real deal one. Um, there's a, like a cheaper version of it out there in the uh, grocery stores. I don't really prefer the cheaper version one because they're just like, you know, like just like nothing different than just using sugar. So get this, get this one. Not sponsored. I'm that passionate about telling you guys the truth of what is the good product and what is not. So, so you will need one tablespoon. Oh, one tablespoon. S goes to more than one. This is the sauce base for the hot pot. So let's arrange our hot pot now. Woohoo! Are you ready for it? Arrange the hot pot. Arrange the hot pot. This is the presentation part that we thinking as we think is so important because later on, so we can like just make all the mess, all the beautiful that we created. I don't know what kind of mindset of that, but oh well. All right, to start arrange the arrange the um, the I forgot the recipe name. Ah, the mandu jungle. Mandu jungle. You know, when, you, when you're getting a little age, you know, especially 2019, I turn into this some some age and I'm like, I started getting like a tutu a little bit. I'm already tutu, so I'm like an alpha tutu. To arrange the mandu jungle, you will need a handful of bean sprouts or a handful of sliced onion. So that's totally up to you. If you have onion already in your house, just go ahead and use it. Onion actually adds beautiful, beautiful sweetness into the hot pot. The only reason I'm using bean sprouts is because I found a really good quality bean sprouts today from the grocery store. That's, that's the only reason. <laughs> okay, now let's add cabbage. So when I'm saying arrange the pot, it's like arrange it like, like you would do bibimbap. So I will do the cabbage on one side like this and then zucchini right next to it. Then I'm gonna put the green onions. Looks Gorgeous already. And then the tofu. This is a sukkat, or in Chinese they call it tongho, or in English as a crown dage. So I'm gonna add a handful of this too. Maybe this is a little too much, so I'm gonna use maybe only this much. So you can find this, this vegetable, the crown dage, sukkat, or uh, tongho, and Vietnamese out there who's watching this right now, don't laugh at me saying sukkat because I know what that means. Watch out, okay? That's the Korean name of this vegetable, okay? I'm sorry. <laughs> if you you cannot find this vegetable, go ahead and use any green vegetables that your favorite. Um, let's just say like a watercress will work beautifully, kale will work beautifully as I mentioned earlier. All the vegetables are just very easy to substitute with whatever you have in your fridge already and what you can get from the grocery store. But I'm going all the way with like, you know, very traditional Korean style. The enoki mushrooms or pengi basat in Korean. Actually, maybe one pack was a little too much too. 
our mandu time. So, my favorite mandu is these two right now, but honestly, actually this one. <laughs> but I'm gonna use this both too because this one, this Wang Bibigo Wang Gyoza, I found this from Costco. They have a beef and the pork both. Uh, both will work beautifully in this recipe. And when I tried it, this right here this pork pork and vegetable or the beef one works the best for this recipe okay um but i choose to use this little kimchi mandu as well because the shape of this mandu is a very traditional korean mandu shape so i thought i will put like in the middle just a little bit you know for just only little i don't know i like taste of this so much better than this one so anyways this is actually just a frozen one that i'm just gonna add as many as possible just squeeze them in so how many mandu do you uh, you should use i don't know depending on how much do you like dumplings there's no rule for how many you can add so after you add the vegetables whatever room, room left in the pot just fill up with mandu okay okay maybe this will do i want to make sure the lid will close <laughs> jacob and i were fighting over this this mandu in the in here and we were trying to give each other this one <laughs> It's not that this one is not good, it's just like that one is so good that like, <laughs> you know, when there's a Beyonce in the house, your San Gyeong Longes means nothing, you know what I mean? I'm like, I don't, that is so wrong um, comparison, but like, you get what I meant. <laughs> See how this mandu shape is so traditional style of mandu that it does the look that we want, you know what I mean? It does the look, the trick of the look, and this is what we want. And you know what? When you're making Korean food, especially jeonggol uh, like this, jeonggol means a hot pot in Korean, make sure you do, you do very generous way because Korean food is all about the generous and the presentation and the color. Like, so pretty much Korean food is all about everything. <laughs> so now I'm gonna add this sauce mixture, but instead of adding this sauce dollop of it like right there, I'm going to actually thin it out with a little bit of chicken stock. So total of chicken stock you will need is four cups. But I'm gonna add a little bit into the sauce to thin it out. Okay, let's pour this sauce and the chicken stock mixture. Rinse off the bowl one more time with chicken stock. <laughs> this is what my mom will do. Don't waste anything. Okay, and pour one more time, just like that. Okay, now we can just pour the chicken stock. We are ready to serve this. So if you have this portable gas stove like I have right here, uh, go ahead and serve like this, not cooked to the table and boil and cook on the table. And while you guys are waiting, the, the mandu jungle is cooking. Like, you know, have a little hot tea or have a little drinks, cheers. And you know, like a little social time while it's cooking. Everybody have to talk to each other, like forcing to talk to each other. <laughs> Cause nowadays, yeah, you know, and like uh, make a rule of no phones unless you are taking a picture and tag San Kyung Long guest on the Instagram. <laughs> so anyways, yeah. So cover it and by the way I do have this support of guest stuff link where you can find down below so go ahead and check it out I got this pot from Korean store so check out your local uh, local Korean grocery store for the pot too but any you know like a little shallow wide pot will do you don't absolutely have to add this pot but cover and I'm gonna turn on the heat so bring it to boil over medium high heat so whenever they are stirring you know like a little simmering simmering then turn over to high heat just just to make sure the vegetable release all their moisture so the ingredients would, would not stuck to the bottom that's that's the only reason we are doing that way so anyways yeah oh my goodness that's exciting I just realized I forgot to use my red chili. I just need to slice it and put it on top to make it look pretty, but totally forgot. Oh well. So when you cook like
like this on the table. You just, you know, start to eating like this taste of soup. Ooh. Oh my goodness! So good. Oh, I need a soju right now. Oh. I told you to drink soju, but I need a soju right now. Oh, this is definitely calling soju right here. It's a keep boiling, like simmering like this. So don't worry about double dipping. Like, come on. Mmm. Good. Oh, it's so good. Oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. I need to invite some friends right now to come over to eat this. Mm -hmm. I know, I know, where's Jacob? Jacob is not here. Jacob is busy with his own work, you know what I mean? Mm. Mm. I really wish Jacob was here, but he tasted this already, so mm, it's okay. All for me. Okay, yes, I'm greedy, but what? Mm. There's not enough whatever, like mandu, tofu, vegetable. Add more whatever you have left over in your uh, fridge. Um, not enough, uh, what do you call? Soup, add a little more water. Because it's been boiling, it probably reduced a little too much. <sighs> mm -hmm. <sighs> ah, I need a soju. Damn, I need a soju. Ah, this is a soju menu. This is soju food. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like little Ajashi. <laughs> Mm. Mm. <sighs> 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 Am I the only one who makes this ugly sound when I'm eating hot, like a hot soup? I think all Koreans do, but I don't know other countries. Because Jacob refused to eat this hot food, temperature hot. Um, he just like, take it out, cool it down and eat it. I'm like, hello, we meant to serve this hot so you can eat hot. Why are you cooling it down? Eat it one while it's boiling. <laughs> I can drink five bottles of soju with this, this alone. I don't know if you know about Korean culture, we always eat while we're drinking. We don't do just drink, 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 shot, shot, shot. No, 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 no. We love food too much that we cannot just drink, 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 drink. We have to eat, drink, eat, drink, eat, drink, eat, drink, eat, eat, drink, eat, 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 drink, eat, drink, eat, drink, eat, eat, drink. You know what I mean? Ooh, I forgot about the bean sprouts. It's like surprise. <laughs> <sighs> oh, go go. In a national TV show, I like this. They will cut it all that off. They chop it up and edit it out. Then they were gonna add in. That's why I stay on YouTube, okay? So I can be real eating instead of um. Oh my god, it's so good! Come on now, did you even taste it? Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Eat like a real human. Then tell me what it tastes like. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm. 
the it was so satisfying there's no way I can finish this if I feel like I can't <laughs> So guys, if you liked my mandu jungle recipe, please give this video a big thumbs up because it's so deserved. And tell your families and friends and other people to watch my video because it is so deserved all the people to know about this type of food, you know what I mean? I'm like, people, eat this food. It's good for you, it's flavorful, it's delicious, it's putting people, families, and friends all together. What? Why not? I mean, seriously, sometimes it blow my mind away. So anyways, yeah, guys, subscribe my channel if you haven't yet. Definitely hit that button and watch all my videos to learn all this delicious, easy Asian at home recipe and you know how to cook and all the stuff from scratch or sometimes you know like a little cheating version like today we did. <coughs> Excuse me. Remember you can always cook Asian food at your house, make it easy and fun. I'm Songyeong Longast and this is Asian at home. There you go and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching! <laughs>